cold murder case at one of Atlanta's most infamous nightclubs, the Purple Onion. Tonight, a family is still searching for justice. Fox 5's Doug Evans is here with more on the story. Doug? Well, this month marks the 26-year anniversary of the murder. A man opened fire at the bar and killed an innocent employee. Tommy Stowe grew up without a father. Along with an older brother, they were just young boys when their dad was shot to death. It was very hard. Hard to tell them their father had died, and even harder to tell them we don't know who did it. I remember just taking them in the bedroom and telling them, you know, that, that daddy went to be with Jesus. I do remember her sitting us down, or, you know, and just telling us, you know, that, that daddy is gone. And I just, I didn't really know what to say, I didn't believe her. Just every day of my life, I've always wondered who did it. 26 years after the murder, and Tommy Stowe and his mother still have no answer to that question. For the first time, Tommy has come to the place where it happened more than two decades ago. It's creepy. Um, I've never really been here, to be honest. I've just ridden by. It's weird to see, you know, exactly where my dad worked and where he, the last place he was alive. And the energy to raise two sons is now the energy Lou Ann Holder is using to help her son Tommy find the man who murdered Danny Stowe on February 26, 1982. It was very rough raising two children, you know, on my own. Finally, I just said, well, let's work on ourselves. We can, we can do this. But they aren't the only ones on the job. So is the Fulton County Cold Case Squad. Our hope is to close this case, to give them closure. And it's a tough one. At the Purple Onion nightclub on then Stewart Avenue, Danny Stowe was working a part-time job as the doorman. He was collecting the cover charge from patrons. A disgruntled customer got into it with the bartender. He got into a, a verbal disagreement with the bartender. Uh, and was asked to leave. He turned and fired one shot from a handgun back towards the door and hit Danny Stowe in the chest, killing him. Police say the Purple Onion was crowded that night. It was a February evening, very icy, but the bar was packed. Eyewitnesses were able to give police a description of the man's unusual clothing as well as his car. He was described as a black male, six feet to six feet one inches tall, and weighed about 170 pounds. He was wearing a beige derby hat and a three-quarter length brown leather jacket. He had a wide silver bracelet, about three inches wide, on his arm, and a gold ring that nearly covered an entire finger. The car might have looked something like this, a 1960s Nova, black on top, orange body. The Purple Onion was a strip club. Throughout its history, it had a notorious reputation. When it closed in the 1990s, the liquor license was granted to Michael Childs, who would later become a key figure in the downfall of former mayor Bill Campbell. Childs reopened the club as Nicky's. But after numerous police raids and license revocations, Nicky's closed too. The building is currently empty. Danny Stowe was 28 years old. He was a truck driver by trade and worked the door of the club part-time. He was actually filling in the night he was murdered. Police believe there were patrons, perhaps even dancers then, who were too afraid to come forward nearly 26 years ago. If they were there, or if they know the person, or heard him talk about it years later, they'll feel comfortable now coming forward and talking to us. You know, so many years have passed. We need closure. I mean... Please come forward and be, be a witness. Just tell what you know. If you're watching, help me. That's all I'm asking. Get, you know, help my family. It's not going to bring my dad back, but I'd like to know. If you have information that can help police solve this case, call the Fulton County Cold Case Squad. They have a special tip line. It is 1-888-OLD-TIPS. It certainly is an old case, but police are hopeful that someone will come forward. They're hopeful on all of these cases. All it takes is the right person to come forward with the right kind of information. This family contacted us probably about two years ago, mm -hmm. uh, and we have been waiting to work with the cold case on this squad. Uh, on this case, th you know, they've had some leads, and then they fade, and then they get some more leads, and then it was finally time now for George's most wanted to do the story with this family. Well, the Stowe family has waited 
long enough, far too long for justice. Thanks.